Hi guys and welcome back to Big Burly's channel. So now we're going to be doing a mystery box opening. Where did this mystery box come from? Probably Target. Maybe Walmart. One of those two, maybe somewhere else. <laughs> um, not 100% sure where I remember getting this one from. Saw it on a shelf and I just had to, it, it's a box and it didn't tell me what was in it and I had to find out. So now you guys get to find out with me what is in this mystery box. So let us see what we've got going on here. So let's, it's like all up in your face, mystery box. So according to this box, we have 15 plus awesome surprises. We have an over $50 retail value. So let's get breaking. All right. This box is bigger than like my kit. I'm just gonna have to like stretch for you guys. So I'm gonna unpackage the the top of it out of out of the smaller screen that I had going on over here, and um, we'll just we'll we'll flip it over so you can you can see me opening the box on this this big one. Our handy dandy knife. That's this was this for. This box wouldn't fit on the smaller camera just to get this top open so you guys can. Oh, I lied. There's more, there's tape. It's like opening a Christmas present for my brother, except for this isn't duct tape. Um, and I can feel the eyes staring. He would, he would duct tape it, um, but he would probably also wrap it in newspaper, so. He has my mom wrap my presents now. Um, so let's see what we've got into this big box. So now I can get back down here for you guys. Already I can see what kind of looks like an action figure just hanging out on the edge here. So let's pull it out. Oh, we got a little Fortnite action figure, Omega Guy Purple Glow. I personally have only played Fortnite a handful of times, but that's because it's my little brother's favorite game. And honestly, I need to play it more so he can stop kicking my butt because he's 11 years younger than me. And he beats me every time, every time. So that's it. We're off to a good start. I'm already liking this box. We got a nice, cool Fortnite figure. It's what all the kids are raving about these days. I sound like I'm old. I'm not. I'm a baby still. I'm only 23. Yes. <laughs> Somewhere in my 20s. All right. So next. Yeet. Hi, <laughs> Sinister. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you on this video as well. Sorry you caught me at the end of that last video. Um, so let's see what we've got a mystery box that we're opening today with over $50 valued of stuff. It didn't tell me what kind of stuff, but I had to find out what kind of stuff. So it looks like we have a Ben 10 toy in here. So I'm really curious. So heroes and villains, chibi snap. So I guess we have a little dude in here so we can pop this open. What little dude did we get from Ben 10? I haven't watched this since um, I lived with my parents in like middle school and I had a room that was this color lime and would watch Ben 10 like religiously uh, with my cartoons. Apparently it's still, it was in this mystery box. Um, I remember they made like a, uh, this one, see this one looks like a weird, uh, ha -ha, like a weird different kind of art style. So it's not the Ben 10 I think you and I are thinking of Sinister. I'm very curious now, gotta go on the internet and do some exploring to see what this new Ben 10 is. Find your favorite aliens. So let's see who we got in this one. So it looks like we got somebody purple. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing this dude right here. Yes, Poke, I started another one. This one's not Pokemon. So I did do it as a separate video instead of just like all in one information dump on you guys. Cause it's not Pokemon. This one's just a random mystery box of what are we gonna have in here? So it looks like I was right. So the guy I pulled out, he's like kind of rubbery. He's a, like a, he's a little bendy. I like the, the texture that he is. It's very, just a little bobble. It sits on your desk and you just kind of doing kind of like my dinkle boppers. I'm still festive. Um, so it looks like we got the crystal fist is his name um, from Ben 10. So we'll go ahead and put him back up. Thank you, Poke. I'm glad. Uh, thank you for telling me to enjoy the stream. I hope you're having a great day still. I hope you stick around and see what, what comes from this big old box. So that was our item number two. So it says unbox 15 plus items. So let's see how many we got. We got two now. So it looks like we've got, oh, 
Oh, so, so a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of figurine. My old roommate was obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. He's going to fight me when he... Freeze Chill is your favorite alien. Nice. I have not watched Ben 10 in a short enough time to remember who all of the aliens are. Um, but I really liked when he was able to finally like, just freely use his watch to just become whatever alien instead of just randomly becoming one. Um, which it was really, it made sense with the show. Um, but when it got to that point, I was really, really hooked on Ben 10 for a while. All right, again, these packages are always made of unopenable material. I'm very, it's got like a, it's very hard here. And it's kind of squishy towards the top. I'm gonna let Burley attempt to open this mystery pack of, of wildness that is concrete wrapping paper. So we're gonna take a do, 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 do. All right, aha! Beautiful! He has, he has opened the package. See, I just, he's like a human knife. He can break through anything. So let's see which character we got. Oh, oh, it's like a keychain from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in this bago. Nothing, nothing, just shiny silver. <gasps> Oogie boogie! <laughs> um, we can take that's trash as well. So it's a keychain. It's a little oogie boogie keychain. I'm really, you know, I'm gonna, is this glow in the dark? I don't know. I'm gonna stick him under the light and I'm gonna find out because he, he kind of looks like he would be a glow in the dark material. He's that weird luminescent green looking, um, but definitely a cool little. I'm liking this mystery box so far. You guys should totally pick one up. This was this is really great. Um, what I'm finding in here so far, so far, we we're, we're, we got some good luck. It's because Poke came back to say hello, and Sinister came back as well. You guys are good luck charms. I was hopefully see y'all next week, and we can get some more cool finds. So it looks like we got another Fortnite figurine. This one's in like a cheaper packaging than the the nice fancy box that the first one came in. Um, but still cool. He's got the little accessories. It's kind of hard to see with all the the foil. Um, but this is the Bandolier Series One fanciness um figurine so that puts us at four objects from our 15 or more object box so let's see what we got next we've got a little a snapping bracelet i remember these um or in the elementary school a whip <laughs> so you beat yourself up or your friends without getting in trouble you get one of these slap bracelets and you just slap well okay bam anything and it's just look it's got a panda listening to some music that's what i look like when i'm streaming i'm very haha -ha, in case you haven't noticed i'm just energy i i swear i don't live off of monsters every day <laughs> so that puts us at five items i'm gonna reach into our mystery box i'm just gonna grab i'm not even looking i'm just yeah all right so we've got this star monsters capsule look it like stands on its own it's got little legs it's, it's kind of fancy I have no idea what star monsters are, but they're pocket friends, according to this packaging. So we gotta find, usually there's like a perforate, there we go, perforated, so we can get this. Aha, see, I can open some things, some stuff. It's got a little tag, so never open it, but it is a choking hazard. So if you have small children, it is a choking hazard, but it looks like, like kind of like one of those quarter machines where you get the little gumball instead you get the toys the the little ball they would come in so i'm assuming this just it, it like wants to rotate so let's aha what do we have we have little we have little friends it's like their little oh i bet it's like their little space capsule because they're star monsters they're traveling the stars so let's see what little little alien dudes we just ripped from their spaceship home so this one he looks, oh my, he kind of looks like a traffic cone. <laughs> he's got, he's got little spikes and, and he's essentially an alien traffic cone. Um, and he's going to go live in his little, his little hidey hole. And then let's see what his friend is. He's green. So maybe a T-Rex, maybe a dinosaur, or maybe a normal looking. Well, not that we know what a normal looking alien looks like. Oh, we got a little, he's, he kind of looks like a frog that's not finished becoming a frog from its tadpole state. Those eyes, they burn into the soul. <laughs> and we'll put him back in his little home. We'll just 
We'll just close that for now. And that's that Star Monsters pull from that box. So that puts us at one, two, three, four, five, six items out of this fancy box. Oh, I could tell what this was without even looking at it because it's a D20. <laughs> ah, too fast. Um, it actually is like a Magic the Gathering D20. It is a life counter, so it's not a traditional die that you can roll because it's not it's not weighted properly it's designed for life counting so if you have started 20 health 19 you use it for pokemon or most other card games or anything you need to keep track of life but it literally just spins down but that is a um magic symbol i want to say that is simic correct me if i'm wrong it's i haven't done the magic gates in a minute but uh but that is definitely a magic symbol there so i like that we're lucky number seven was a magic die ha ah, we got a dice for number seven that was great all right this one another small thing in here he's just he's kind of he's a hard he's a little hard figuring i have no idea what he's from because i have no packaging except for this tiny little stretchy i didn't break anything stretchy um packaging that we have going here so he's a little soccer player. If you know who this is, what soccer player this is, or football player, if that is your preferred name for it, um, let me know. But he looks like a little pen topper. I don't have a pen or pencil to show you, um, but I'm assuming maybe he'll sit on my pinky. Will you, will you fit? Ah, uh, no, I tried. Um, so he's a little soccer player that definitely looks like, like a pen, pencil or eraser cap holder. I don't think he races very well. He doesn't, he's like a hard plasticky material. So I highly doubt he is an eraser. But that is our eighth object from this mystery box. We've got Letra bots. Not letter, but Letra. They are letters, it looks like. And they glow in the dark, look at that. Combo Big Rob, Big Robert, Robot AOE. They glow in the dark. What kind of glow-in-the-dark boy did we get? Aha, look, see when they're nice and easy to open. It's just, it's very satisfying. Oh, oh he's got some instructions in here. And then, eh, eh, eh. a lot of toys in here, I like it. So, we've got the demon bot. It's a great start. <laughs> so, I'm assuming he's the letter D. Which, yep, he definitely looks like the letter D. So, we've got a demon it's a great, that's a great find when you when you pull a mystery box. You always want a demon. And you get a whole little pamphlet about all the little letter bots, which other ones there are. Letter G. So some fun facts about that. I'm assuming you just yank his little legs and head. See, like you just pull the little legs and he's got like he's got little like handles to make it easier on the back. To like pull his little legs down. I should probably read the instructions before I start. Um, decapacity. Look, he's got an arm. Look, this. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I was bad at the Transformer toys as a child. Um, but it's a bot. That is the letter D. Get them all, make your alphabet. Maybe put a magnet on him and put him in your fridge. A fridge magnet that's a robot. How cool would that be? So let's see what else we have in here. We have another slap bracelet. This one, instead of a dancing panda, has a dancing pink cat. And it definitely slaps. And we're terrified. We're terrified of the slappage. Alrighty, we'll put that one over here. And then we've got two. Two Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. No more, no less. Two single Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. All right, they're shiny. They're, they're actually like holographic. Um, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it on the screen. Um, so if you got your like, if you play Magic and you got a Commander, you got a special card, um, you can possibly get some shiny. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're not like worn in or anything. I'm surprised they're just kind of loose in there. They're holding their shape rather well for loose sleeves. Um, oh, I lied. There's four. <laughs> Now there's no more in the box. There was two and then two that were hidden under this item that I just pulled out. Um, which is our last but not least item. Teammate WWE Wrestling Superstar. I don't follow wrestling. But let's see who we got inside. I'm going to knife this one out. 
I'm just gonna start from the bottom here. See, you just need to make a little, little tiny cut and then boom, you're in. Easy peasy. So if you guys follow WWE, you will probably know who these people are. Whereas I am, oh my God, it's, it's not just figurines. You get, okay. So the Teeny Mates Series 2, W two superstars inside, which it's not wrong. I did have two flop, plop out. There's, there's the other one. Uh, one was bagged, one was not. And it looks like the packs come together. You get a couple of puzzle pieces that these two don't go together. At least so far they don't. Aha! So we have two pieces that do fit together. I just didn't put them right. Um, so you have to get more of the Teeny Mate packs to make, it looks like, a full puzzle. So I gotta start here. We've got one WWE guy, and then let's see who his buddy is. If you know who these WD WWE guys are, haha, <laughs> e-boys, um, feel free to comment on the video below. Let me know. Like I said, I don't really follow wrestling. Um, but if you know who they are, then we've got his That's friend. The warrior on the right. Ultimate Warrior on the right. That's the Ultimate Warrior right there. Oh, look, see, Burley knows wrestling way more than I God, do. <laughs> God rest his soul. He just passed away. Oh, well, that's sad. Well, may he rest in peace. I have a wonderful figurine of him now. Um, he will he will be treasured. He'll, he'll go up on the shelf behind you. All the shelf of all of my nerd and geek and sporty stuff. Everything in between. And that is... Concluding our mystery box, as you can see, it is empty here. Um, nothing left in this giant box. Excuse me, mouse. There we go. Um, so that concludes that mystery box. Like I said, it was on either Walmart or Target, but this is what the box looks like on the outside. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Don't forget to like that, like, comment, and subscribe down below. To go go ahead and turn on those alerts so you can stay tuned. Not only do I do Pokemon breaks, but we do these random breaks. We do free giveaways. If you don't know, check out the video I just posted right before this one for this week's giveaway. We're doing an awesome Christmas special. So instead of just a couple of packs, there is a surprise. You have to watch the video and stay to the end and find out. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.